Hey guys, this is week three of Exploring the Combinator. And this week I'm going to show you how to assign these buttons and rotaries at the top of the Combinator to where they will affect whatever devices you have inside of the Combinator. Now, earlier today I created this patch and I called it Valor in Mischief, where Valor is this high prized punchy synth, and then Mischief is a little bit of grind funky in the background. Anyways, basically what I want to do is be able to cut off all the ambience type noise where you can see I've already labeled this the ambience cut so I want to get rid of reverb, delay, chorus, all of that. So to assign a button or a rotary to a device you have to select the device here which you would click show programmer if it's not already showing and I'm gonna choose Thor 1 first so I have it clicked already and I'm gonna come to button 1 and come over here where it says target drop it down go to effect chorus on and go to button 2 and make it a button 1. Make this effect delay on. I'm going to do the same to Thor 3. Go ahead and make these both button 1's. Effect course on. Effect delay on. So I already have it pressed which makes it on. If I press it off it turns it off. So if we jump in here and look, you can see delay and chorus is on. When I come up and press this, cuts them off. On, off. Which, it does the same down here. Now I'm going to let you know what this sounds like. Um, to apply this, you could use it live. If you're doing something in the chorus where you have everything turned on, and you got delays, you've got chorus, your sound is fat, it's big, it's filling up the band but then the music's gonna stop you don't want your chorus and delay to continue you want that to cut off too you would snap that or if you're doing a lead out you would snap that off if you didn't want delays and chorus on it just for the change of the effect I'm gonna let you know what this sounds like and I cut it off that second noise is kind of slightly delayed from the first noise which Valor is what you hear, hear first, and then Mischief is what comes after it. Kind of fits it. So I'm going to assign this, and what I'm going to want to do is go to Edit Remote Override, Learn from Control Surface, and then hit a key on my keyboard, or a button, whatever I'm using. So now I have a button assigned to it, so while I'm playing, I can just hit it. <laughs> And it's as easy as that. Of course, you can add as many things as you want to one button. I can also arrange it to where this is button two. And I can make this delay. And I can take the delay off of this. To where I would want to press this to turn off the delay. Of course, the same goes for rotary. Rotary, you could use it for frequency, resonance, or what I have in my Valor. Or even the master volume to a synth. Another good use for it is to bring it into your filters and you can adjust the frequency with it and that is how you assign rotaries and knobs inside of a combinator to your devices that you have inside of your combinator uh, this patch will be a download for free from my blog so check that out in the link below this video once you visit my blog there will be a link on the blog post about this video that you can take you can also check out my videos from the past two weeks where I've explored the combinator Use everything I've told you, combine them, and make something awesome. Post it to my page, let me know about it, put it up for download, I'll check it out.